series and then not be able to get it done with Temple Road. We've seen it time and time again. Think of the Doc Pone match versus Jason Joe. That's right. Doc Pone's on match point, two games to zero. Three losses with Temple Road right in a row. And you know who has a similar lineup to Jason Joe? It's Surrender. <laughs> So that's the lineup that can beat Temple Road. And right off the bat, Surrender, even just as Mulligan. Great options to start. Kazakis, Shadow Reaper, Anduin. The piece he's missing is Raza. It's a, pr it's a pretty darn good opening hand for Surrender, I'll say that. Um, I do want to talk about Tom's uh, Temple Road list for a little bit here, though. He's included one copy of Elven Minstrel, which is traditionally pretty good in this matchup. But he has two copies of Cobalt Scale Band. And that's a card that's in included in this deck to uh, pressure through dragon fire potion. Five damage to the whole board, wipes everything away. But not to dragons. Cobalt Scalebane is the one card I think that can really pressure through that. And Tom's opening hand. Oh my. That is gas. That is a huge opening hand for Tom. Surrender. The shake of the head. That is not the start he wanted to see. When you put two titans of players and of decks in the, this instance and of cards with Kazaka, Shadow Reaper, Anduin versus Keliseth, Shadow Step, Keliseth. Buckle in. Buckle in. Oh my. That, that, I think that's the best draw in Tom's deck right now. Yep. This captain might be a little bit better. I don't know. I like pushing four extra damage. The, the look on Surrender's face. But Tom, he's not autopiloting this. He's probably been in this situation maybe hundreds of times. So many Think back options. to Ant uh, in, in, his, in his rounds during uh, the World Championships. He opened up with Keliseth, Shadow Step, Keliseth, Shadow Step, Keliseth and didn't win that game. He did not. And he said he felt like he could have played it better. He felt like he was, you know, kind of on autopilot and, you know, trying to ride the momentum of the good early draw in order to win the game. But he didn't. So Tom making sure that he's just doing everything correctly. The patches trade into the Acolyte of Pain is the obvious one, but he thinks about everything. Is someone injured? Maybe this trade is weaker to Blood Mage Spirit Lash. Who knows? Look at how desperate Surrender is. Healing opposing patches to draw a card. He needs to find something to answer this board. Ha, <laughs> this guy's toast. Tom, you want to waste time drawing cards? Go ahead. Damage incoming. 12 damage on board, 13 with the dagger hit. Any point of damage. Galaka Crawler? Is there any hope here now? Yeah, but the, the thing about the Galaka Crawler is, if he does that, what else does he do? He delays Kazakis. Pl play a Wild Pyromancer? <laughs> yeah, Galaka Crawler, Healer, play a Wild Pyromancer. Dude, anything to try to fight for board right now. I, I mean, he's got Psychic Scream in hand. I think there is a chance he can get back into this, but it's gonna require, it's gonna require some picture-perfect draws. That's a start. You know, he can Kazakas for the one cost potion next turn as well. And Tom draws a second Bone Mare to go with it. So the pressure really alleviates here for Surrender. And this is ex exactly what he needed. He needed Tom to stumble for one turn to try to get back in. I mean, his next few turns are laid out. Next turn, he can go Kazakas for a one mana potion. Six is going to be the weak point. So many. That's going to be the turn where Tom is going to need to take advantage of something. But then he's got Psychic Screen on seven <gasps> into Anduin on eight. That's the, that's the solution Tom comes up with. Play a big 7-7. Seven, seven. Can you deal with that? And a one-mana potion, unless it's perfect, is not going to be enough to deal with the majority of this board. He needs deal, deal two damage to all and deal three damage. At last. He could get deal two damage to all and freeze a minion. He does get freeze a minion. But is that better than game four armor? If you need the perfect potion, it just might surrender. Look at him in the tank right now. Yeah. How do I win this game? If he picks freeze and then gets deal two damage to all, he can kill everything and then freeze the Cordo Creeper. No two damage. Oh, those are 
Those are not good. Not good. I really don't. I think uh, they make a 2-2 two -two probably has to be the best option. I we mean, soften up the board for Dragonfire. The healing's gone from, from Surrender's deck as well. And he uses oh. Binding Heal. He's got to hope he freezes that Corridor Creeper. And he freezes it. Surrender at 14, facing nine points, or five, six points of pressure. Cobalt Scalebane gets drawn for Tom. Just when you think Surrender is out of the woods, at least for one more turn. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Not only does it not get hit by Dragonfire Potion, but it doesn't get hit by about anything except Shadow Death. Death. Does Surrender have that one more turn, though? Tom's got Bone Mare coming next turn. Surrender has to survive with as much life as possible. I'm looking at Wild Pyromancer with a Silence and a Shadow Word Death. He can isolate Tom's board to just five damage, but it will require a lot of resources. But then the question is, if Bone Mare comes out next turn, he goes to one. He Psychic Screams, he's dead to a dagger hit. No, he can silence to, to put the damage down to nine total. He can peel oh, two yeah. more off with that silence. That's the only way. Wild Pyromancer, silence on the Corridor Creeper. So you want it, you want the, the Wild Pyromancer there, I think. So Shadow or Death, Wild Pyromancer, silence. That's right. Or silence, Wild Pyromancer, Shadow or Death. Either of those combinations puts him in, in range to live for a turn if Tom doesn't draw damage. And this also puts an extra minion on the board to be able to contest the following turn. Smosh Burglar. Bone Mare will drop Surrender down to just three health remaining. It is such an uphill battle for Surrender. Bomb after bomb being played. At three health, he picks up the Raza. So that's going to be great post Anduin, but he's got a lot to worry about until then. He can actually get away with using the Dragonfire Potion this turn if he feels like that's not going to get any better. That's, that's exactly what he's going to do. That gives him an extra couple points of health to work with, and it gives him the security of Psychic Scream needing to wipe the board in case Tom's got another Cobalt Scalebane. And it's Tom. just tons of pressure. He's also been on a Leroy draw for the last couple turns to just end the game. And this is playing into Shadow Reaper Handling. Oh, okay. I thought he was going with the Bone Mare. Do you take the value from the Shadow Reaper into it now, or do you wait for a better position? We've seen players get punished so many times this tournament for delaying Shadow Reaper into it. Because they think they're going to find a better spot. He's going to go for it now. He's got to do it. Hmm. This is so the tough for Surrender. And again, Tom is the second Bone Mare in hand. And now Surrender does not have a further way to heal remaining in the deck outside of Priest of the Beast. So here's the push. Surrender drops to two points of life. South Sea Deckhand. SI7 Agent. Leroy Jenkins. A couple of a, a minstrel that could draw those cards. A minstrel that can draw those cards. All of those things are outs for Tom going to the next turn. He's got one SI7 agent, one South Sea deckhand, so. Shadowy thoughts. If he draws one card, that's a. Look at Tom. 12% chance, yeah, he's. Looking over at Surrender occasionally. He knows he's right on the verge of winning. But Surrender has been in this position so many times this weekend, on, where it looks like he's on the brink of disaster. Yeah. He somehow manages to find a way out. And Psychic Scream has to be on the menu here, but the question is, does he play the Novice Engineer first and Psychic Scream that back into Tom's deck? The shadows does he play the Blood Mage short. after to try to get a second card draw Yeah. with Novice Engineer next turn? Tom finds the damage! 
And he's gonna move on to the grand finals, eliminating Surrender, three games to one. Ending his match streak at 15 and cementing himself as the king of Asia Pacific. What a series between these two.